In today's video, I'm going to show you how to put a form on your website that will allow your users to subscribe to your posts or to your comment conversations. It's super easy. It'll only take us about five minutes and you'll wonder why you hadn't done it before. Let's get started. Setting up subscriptions for your blog or website is really easy. That is, you can allow people to subscribe to your posts or uh, people can subscribe to your comment conversations uh, via email. The first thing you're going to want to do is sign up for a free WordPress.com account. So go to WordPress.com, click on the big orange Get Started button. When you get here, put in your email address and then the username that you would like. I don't want that username, so I'm going to put in something else. How about easy subscriptions and then my password. And then I go down here to the bottom and click create blog. Now I'm going to have to go to my email and click on the email that just came in and click on activate blog. That's all we have to do. We can do the rest of this later. This is actually a free wordpress.com blog or website that we can play with later that we've just set up. But that's all we need to do with this right now. We don't need to configure it, set it up, nothing. All we had to do was sign up for the free wordpress.com account so that we could get our email subscriptions working on our own website. So now we are back on our own website. What we need to do next is go to plugins and then click on add new. Once we're here, type in Jetpack into the search box. Then click search plugins. The first result to come up will be Jetpack. Click on install now and then click OK. Once it's done installing the plugin, go ahead and click Activate Plugin. Now we have Jetpack installed, and we see the first thing it tells us to do is connect to WordPress.com. It needs to connect to WordPress.com to do its magic. So now we're going to connect to WordPress.com by clicking this button. Since we already signed up for the account and we're signed in right now, it's just going to automatically connect when I click this. But if you are not signed in to WordPress.com, then it will ask you to put in your username and password for the WordPress.com account you just created. So I'm going to go ahead and click this. And then I will just click Authorize Jetpack because we are already signed in. And now Jetpack is authorized. Okay, so what's so great about Jetpack? Well, lots of things, but I'm just going to show you one thing. We're going to scroll down just a little bit until we see subscriptions here. Then we're going to click Configure. There's really not much to configure here. It's just this stuff down here. If you have this button checked, then there will be a Follow Blog option in the Comment form. And if this one is checked, there will be a Follow Comments option in the Comment form. So a follow blog and a follow comments option. Both of those options are really nice. It gives people a reminder every time they look at your comments that they can either subscribe to your blog posts or they can subscribe to your blog comments. Now if they subscribe to the comments, it'll be just those comments for that particular post because maybe they're interested in that conversation. It's a really cool feature. Let's back up one screen here. How am I gonna get the subscription box to show up like on my main page? Well, that's easy. I go to appearance and then I go to widgets. Once I arrive at this page, all I have to do is hover over blog subscriptions here and drag it over to here in my sidebar. Now, if I have a theme that has footer widgets down here, then I can drag it into my footer. Anyway, if it's in my sidebar, I want it to be at the top because I want people to notice it right away. I'm gonna change the widget title to subscribe to all posts. And then I'm gonna get rid of all this text here because I think it's pretty obvious what that means, but you can leave the text there if you want. This will make a subscribe button, and this, if it is checked, will show the total number of subscribers that you have. Go ahead and click Save, and then let's go ahead and go to the main page and see what it looks like. Here it is. Subscribe to all posts. All the user has to do is put their email address right there, and then click Subscribe. That's really cool. Now let's take a look at the comments section so you can see the options that we have enabled. So I'm gonna click this post, and down below, there will be a comments section and down below the comments we have this notify me of follow-up comments by email the user can check that and notify me of new posts by email the user can check that and if they check this it's the same thing as if they filled out the subscribe to blog form up here so that's it your WordPress blog or website is now set up 
so that people can easily subscribe to your current posts or to one of your comment conversations. It's easy. A couple more things. Let's go ahead back to our dashboard and I want to show you how you see how many subscribers you have. You go to Jetpack over here, hover over it, and then click on Site Stats. This is really cool as well. WordPress.com will keep track of all your site stats. You can get a lot of information here in your site stats. Um, obviously, I have no stats available for this time period because I just made this website. Down here a little bit, you have your referrers. Uh, I click from another website that links to yours. And here you have your search engine terms. And this is really cool because it allows you to see what search terms people are using to find your website. And here are our subscriptions. We have zero blog followers and we have zero people subscribing to any comments on our uh, website. That's okay, we just set it up. Now you know how to set up email subscriptions and comment subscriptions for your WordPress website. Jetpack is a really awesome plugin. It does a lot of stuff. And the subscriptions feature is probably my favorite thing, but there are a lot of other cool things I'm going to show you about Jetpack in the next video. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned a lot. In the next video, I'm going to show you some more features of Jetpack and show you just how awesome it really is. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.